Hello everyone. Um, I just uh, I was going. I was actually doing a little uh, house cleaning, and I found a external hard drive lying around, which is a uh, one terabyte Western Digital external hard drive. And I figured, you know what? Since the Wii U does support external hard drives, let me just plug it in and see what happens. And what do you know? It does work. It works just fine. Like I said, it's a one terabyte hard drive. And the way it works, now, I can understand why Nintendo designed the system this way. They want to have as l the least amount of uh, moving parts in the system for, for uh, reliability reasons. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with using the ex external hard drive. Why is that? For one, you don't have to open up the system, change out the hard drive and all that. And you don't have to buy proprietary versions of hard drives to use on the system that costs an arm and a leg for very little storage. Uh, when I originally picked up the one terabyte hard drive, I think it was only like a hundred bucks. And you know the ones for the 360. This is a 250 gig, but you know they have different sizes. But they usually cost around a hundred, a hundred. $50, I want to say, around that price range. And, you know, it's not that much. So the fact that the Wii U, my Wii U, has, you know, a terabyte of storage is actually pretty impressive. So the way it works is you just uh, connect it with USB, and I just have the external hard drive sitting right there, and there's the plug for it. So that's really all it is. You know, I have it hidden, so it's not really a big deal. But let me turn on the system, and let me show you how it is, how it looks like, when you do have an external hard drive connected to it. Let me switch it here. Now, one thing you're going to notice. Actually, let me mute this. One thing you are going to notice is when you're looking at the menu here, you are going to see this icon here, which is a external hard drive icon or USB storage uh, device icon. And it was actually stupidly easy to set up. In fact, when you do plug it in for the first time, when it does detect a hard a, a USB storage device for the first time, it actually pops up a menu and says, "Hey, let's uh, set this up right now." So there's you don't even have to go into menu; it just takes you there right away. Now, after you do all that, now of course uh, you do have to format it so that the Wii U will uh, read it properly. But honest and and just keep in mind that if you do do that, you can't, uh, you cannot partition it. It take, it uses the entire thing. So if you have storage on it, if you have data on it, um, you might want to either transfer to something else, or just pick up, or just uh, pick up a different external hard drive to use. So just keep that in mind. But for me, you know, I didn't really have anything on it. I was just using it as a backup drive for my uh, my desktop, but I'm starting to use uh, cloud storage, so I don't really need the uh, external hard drive. So I figured, let me just plug it into the Wii U. And um, what am I looking for? So let me go to the system menu.
And performance-wise, I haven't really seen a difference. You know, people that say that, oh, the Wii U doesn't have a USB 3 and all that stuff. I don't see a speed difference with you because I transfer all the games and everything that I have from the internal storage to the hard drive. I don't see any speed difference, honestly. I really don't. So if I go to data management, uh, assuming I can, uh, okay. So on here, you do have uh, two options. You can format it or you can uh, move delete data. So yeah, as you can see, I do have, uh, there it goes. I have two forms of uh, storage now. Now I wonder what happens when I stick a SD card in the system. So that would be interesting to find out. But um, so the system mem memory uh, has 25 gigs of free space, and my USB storage has 928 gigabytes of free space. Not too shabby, honestly. Now, of course, if uh, Nintendo does uh, implement, you know, extra features like you can upload, uh, you can uh, save uh, videos to the hard drive and stuff like that. I don't know if Nintendo's going to be doing that, but, um, you know, if just first, if you, you know, I'm, I'm really, uh, using it more, just, I had it lying around, and you know what, I'm one of those people that will just try to stick the biggest, uh, storage I'm able to put and be done with it, so when I got the PlayStation Vita, for example, which is sitting over there. I decided, you know what, I know I'm going to be upgrading to the 32 gig later on. Let me just buy it now, done and over with, get it out of the way. So that's what I did. I got the largest uh, uh, PlayStation Vita card, which is 32 gigs, stuck it in there and done with it. And that's what I did with the 3DS. I bought a 32 gigabyte SD card, class 10. I max it out, done and over with. And that's pretty much what I kind of did with the Wii U, except, you know, I had the hard drive lying around. So, yeah, if um, you do have an external hard drive lying around. Now, of course, they say, or at least, Nint you know, I, I will recommend you, um, if you do use an external hard drive, use one that has an external power source, too. Um, you know, you could, you can use it just through the USB, but you need a special uh, cord where you have to plug in both uh, USB ports in the back. One for power and one for data. But in my case, I use an external hard drive that has an external power source. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like always, have a good one. And uh, if you guys have a Wii U, uh, go over to my channel page, and you'll see my uh, network ID name on there, which is the same as my channel. But I also have a PSN account and an Xbox Live, so if you're interested in friending me on those systems, feel free to do so. And also the 3DS, so it's all on there. Uh, another thing is, I'm also on Instagram. So look for me on there. Like I said, uh, same name is on YouTube. And I'm also on Facebook. I do have a a uh, a Facebook page just for that's dedicated just for the YouTube, but I haven't really done much with it at all. I pretty much wanted to secure the name of it, and um, I don't know what to do with it yet. But um. Yeah, like always, have a good one. Oh, I'm also on Twitter and all that stuff. It's all on the page. It's all on the channel page. So, like always, have a good one. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and that's it.